Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. Now, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. Now, keep in mind, not every reading that you watch on YouTube is for you, and uh, the timing is still fluid. This is just a message that I'm picking up on for you at this time, okay? So what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? What do we have for Aries? Indecision. Ooh. So you must be indecisive about something. What are you going to do, huh? Are you thinking about what you're going to do? Which way you should go? You may be at a crossroads by the looks of things and you're trying to decide, you know, should I go down that path or should I go the other way? So I do believe you are in a moment of indecision. You're going to, you are obviously presented with an opportunity and you're probably not sure what you want to do. So you're going to have to probably make a decision this week. Um, you're obviously in a very powerful position. Um, you know, there's uncertainty here. There's, there is some sort of uncertainty which, which path is going to uh, lead you to happiness. You know, you can, you can move down a new path or you can go down the path that you've always gone down. The choice is yours. This is definitely a choice. That is a number eight. Eight is a number of abundance. So there is an opportunity for abundance here. Eight is also a number of change. Okay, so change is needed. Perhaps you should go down the path that you've never been down, you know, and you have an opportunity to go down a path that you've never been down. So you are going to have to probably make a decision this week. There's probably a, a bright opportunity, you know, down one of these paths, but you're going to have to go down that path, you know, and face your fears, the fears of the unknown. So there's obviously fear of the unknown fear of, you know, what if I go down that path and it's, uh, not what I thought it was going to be. Well, if you don't try, you'll never know. So, that one came flying out. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. So, down this path, you have an opportunity. There's a, somebody is waiting for you to open the door. Or you need to open the door. Or there's a doorway that is opening for you. Oh, you have, but the opportunity, as you notice, this is waiting for you. It's waiting for you to go down that path. So you are going to be presented with an opportunity. Or you maybe you already have been. Your intuition is guiding you. I think that inside you know what you want to do or that what you need to do. But there's some sort of blockage here. Could be fear, you know. This is, this is a path that is uncertain, but you have to be strong to uh, face the uncertainty. You know, you it's going to take a lot of strength to do that. Anyway, so this week there's a new opportunity. Whether you take it or not, well, that'll be up to you. You can listen to your gut. Two of coins reversed, and the two of coins reversed is about that choice. This is a choice, it's a decision, it's a lack of flexibility, you know. Um, may not want to, uh, you know, this has to do with profit and loss. You could, you could be uncertain about, you know, losing some sort of financial gain, you know, or financial um, payout if you go down a path. Maybe you're good. Maybe it's a poor financial decision. What if I go down this path and it doesn't work out and I lose, you know, something financially uh, profitable to me? You know, so I feel like that's what's probably holding you back. You know, you don't want to have a financial loss by going down that path. And that's probably your biggest, one of your biggest worries. 
Three of Wands. I think that you have been presented with an opportunity. Perhaps you have been waiting for this opportunity and it has arrived. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Now the opportunity is right in front of you. This is about hoping and praying for the best. You need to have faith. Ten of Wands reversed. Now, Ten of Wands reversed is letting go of a burden, letting go of responsibilities. It's making a conscious change. So perhaps you need to make a conscious change to, to explore this new avenue. You definitely have a new avenue. You do. Now, the Ten of Wands reversed is freeing yourself. Balance is waiting for you. I feel like for some of you, you've been carrying some burden. Maybe you've been working too hard. You've been, you haven't been able to balance out responsibilities or something. Or maybe that's another fear of yours. What if, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for this. You know, hey, if you don't have time for it, you don't have time for it. But I feel like this is something that you've wanted. You've been waiting for this. Here it is. It's right in front of you. Maybe you need to, you know... Um, Find an, a way to adapt, to be more flexible. You need to find an, a way to balance out something. Because we gotta, we gotta, these are both cards of balance. It's like you need to, or you should, find a way <laughs> to bring balance to a situation. To be able to balance your responsibilities with whatever path this is that you are being presented with, this opportunity. You have an opportunity here. But there's, there's, I feel like there's fear of financial loss or I don't have time for it, you know? Ten of Swords reversed. Now, these are both better and reversed. This is liberation. This is freedom. And this is freedom as well. So you may have been in a painful situation. You may have been hurt. You may have been betrayed or something in the past. But... This is, I mean, you get the Ten of Swords in reverse. This could be a turning point. I feel like uh, the worst has already happened. This is, a, this is a time of recovery. Now, the Ten of Swords in reverse is, well, the Ten of Swords in the upright is suffering. It's great suffering, great pain. Somebody has really, really, really suffered. But those are, I feel like it's the end. This is the end. It's the end of a painful situation where there's been a, a lot of uh, overwhelming. It's overwhelming, whatever it is. But this is a completion of some sort. It's almost like a near-death experience. I just got to be honest. This is releasing something painful. It's the end of a painful situation. This is a turning point of some sort. They're bringing you an opportunity. You're, you have an opportunity to go down a path through a new doorway that could bring balance to your life, that could bring you happiness and help you to heal from something. I feel like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this. You probably, but there's, but there's a lack of a flexibility, right? A lack of adaptability. You know, I don't, I don't want to be flexible. I don't, I don't want this change. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're stuck in your ways. You know, you're definitely at this point where you have to make a decision. I feel like there's a bright opportunity for you. Your intuition is guiding you. It's time to make a conscious change. It's time to live. It's time to get up and, and do things that you haven't done before. Goodness gracious, the moon reverse. Now, the moon reverse is a reality check. And it's actually better in reverse. It's, it's the truth. You can't hide from this. This is clarity. It's seeing the light in a situation, seeing the truth, listening to your intuition. Really, really, really listen to your intuition this week. Release the fear. You're very, somebody is very, very fearful. Fearful of the uncertainty. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. You are being presented with a path that you have never been down. And I think that you are very scared to go down it. 
But I feel like I feel like you need to not run from it. Be flexible. Some of you are afraid of biting off more than you can chew, right? That's what you're afraid of. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to have an imbalance. You know. You know. I, I mean, some of you are too uh, focused on responsibilities. I already have too many responsibilities. I can't engage with this. I have too many responsibilities. I, I, the answer is no. What I'm telling you right now, that there's an opportunity for happiness here, and I don't even need the ten of cups. There's a new opportunity with that opportunities are waiting for you. You go through that doorway and you will be very happy. Oh, three of cups. That's celebrating, having fun, socializing, getting together, dating. So there it could be an upcoming get together. But you're going to need to release your fear. You are going to release your fear. You may be making friends with somebody, you know, or dating somebody new or something like that. This is an opportunity for happiness. This means happiness, celebrating, having a lot of fun. So I think if you go through that doorway that is being presented to you, you will be very happy. This will make you extremely happy. Nine of Cups. I knew that it would. Now the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This is something that you asked for. So you are, you, you definitely asked for this. This is abundance. This is a wish being granted. So I feel like this week you, you, you have an opportunity that, you know, you've been waiting for that is right in front of you. It's literally right in front of you. This is a chance to have it all where you can just sit back and relax for a minute. Have some fun. You know, have fun. Let your guard down. Relax. Make a change. Put, you know, some of your responsibilities aside for a minute. This is about responsibilities. In the upright, too many taking on too many responsibilities. Let some of them go. For a minute. I don't say have to let go of them forever. Release your fear. You're probably fearful of getting stabbed in the back, right? Getting, being fearful maybe of being used or not being accepted. There's a lot of fear here. My advice to you is to pray and hope for the best and just do it. Just do it. This, this could have be a lot of fun. A lot. So it looks to me like you are looking at an opportunity. I mean, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Everybody knows it. You're looking at an opportunity for abundance and wish fulfillment and a lot of happiness. But it will require you to make a conscious change and face your fears. Some of you are going to be uh, having fun with somebody that... I feel like that is very, very attractive to you. Four of Wands. Now, this may have to do with a commitment. There's definitely going to be a get-together, or there could be a get-together. This is Both of these cards are getting together, celebrating, um, you know, maybe even having a couple drinks together or something like that, or one drink or something. Um, but Four of Wands is commitment. It's happiness. It could even lead to marriage if that's what you're looking for. Anyhow, Four of Wands is building a foundation. And it is happiness. Again, this is happiness. So you guys have an opportunity um, to get together with somebody that could make you very, very, very happy. 
but you have to just open up, let go of your fears and have fun. Have fun. Just do it. Just have some fun this week. Oh. Whatever this is, this get together, could be a reunion for some of you with these cards. And it could be somebody from your past. And when I say somebody from, it could be somebody with, that you have a past life connection with. So people hear somebody from the past and they automatically think they're ex or one of their exes. This could be a past life connection. The moon is a card of the past. This is like a reunion. This could be a reunion. Somebody that you've been with in a past life, you know, because I believe that we come back until we've learned all, all of our lessons and we stay in the same circles. If we have a deep connection with somebody from the be beginning, we were probably with them in a past life. So anyhow, I do believe there could be a past life connection here where something ended, there was betrayal, and this is another chance because there has been some sort of, there's another chance for happiness here. This, so I would just want to reiterate, this could be somebody that has crossed your path with that card right there. They have crossed your path right now at this time in your life, or you're going to be crossing their path or something like that. This is an opportunity that probably brings you a lot of fear because you, I feel like you have a past life connection with this person. So it could be somebody brand new that you have a past life connection with. And I know that this person is very, there's, there's a sexual attraction here for some of you. You, you, and it's a very, this is a very sexual energy, so I'm not sure what is going on here, but this is a, a very, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word for it. Um, intense, intense. Anyhow, you're going to need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence To let go of your fear. Have fun this week. You're, you ha somebody may invite you or you may invite them to get together. Just do it. You won't regret it. If, if there's a chance to go down a path that you have never gone down, which I think that's what you're going to be presented with, do it. It could lead to a lot of happiness, building a foundation that could really last and bring a lot of abundance to you. You are looking at something that you asked for. You are looking at wish fulfillment. You asked for this, but your fear is in the way. You waited for it. You know, you've, you've been, it's almost like you've been getting prepared for this all along, right? Here it is. Here it is. Trust your intuition go down that path. This person is not going to betray you. That's just your fear. Good luck.